Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Vlogmas Day 5. <laughs> Okay, so today I'm doing a Q&A actually. I put on this headband, let me know how you think it looks because I didn't feel like doing these videos, they're not really done. I'm about to take out this week anyway, so it doesn't matter, but well, I did a poll on my Instagram and told y'all to ask me some questions that y'all wanted to know. Um, so I got 17 questions that I'll be answering today and they're pretty good to be honest. Like they're actually really good. So thank you to everyone who answered my questions. You're a real one. So question number one, how do you relate to your zodiac sign? Okay, well, I'm a Capricorn, so my birthday is January 5th. It's actually coming up. But I guess you could say, I'd say Capricorns are like strong minded and kind of mean, I guess. I don't really know, but I feel like, okay, I might be a little strong minded and a little stubborn. So I feel like I would make, relate to my zodiac sign in that way, but I don't feel like everything that people say your zodiac sign is relates directly to you. I think that's kind of dramatic. But yeah, I don't even know what to say on that because I don't even know that much about my zodiac sign, but yeah. Okay, question number two is my relationship status. I'm taking, I have a girlfriend. That's that. Um, number three is what's the biggest lesson you learned this year? Honestly, honestly, the biggest lesson I learned this year is that if you want something, you gotta go out there and get it. It's not gonna come to you. Life's hard, it's gonna only get harder. So if you want something, then you gotta do what you gotta do to get it. Um, so that might be the biggest lesson I learned this year. It's been a rough year for everyone, so that's the best I could do. I don't even know at this point. I don't know what my life is. Next question. How was the transition when you moved from state to state? Honestly, I think it was kind of smooth because, okay, well, my family moved to Ohio, but I go to school in Ohio, so I was gonna move to Ohio anyway. The only difference is I wouldn't have been going back to Maryland. I'm originally from Maryland. I just stayed in Ohio. Um, it wasn't bad. It was pretty smooth. My mom is really happy, so that's important. I'm honestly kind of bored. I don't know anyone out here. I don't really do anything but sit in the house. So it's difficult in that sense because I miss being around people I know, miss being around friends, miss certain things that Maryland has that Ohio doesn't like honey obey wings you know but um other than that it's been pretty good like it's not the worst thing that could ever happen to me so i'm pretty cool with it um the next question is how do you deal with hate girl honestly i could care less i used to really care about hate not gonna lie to you when i used to post pictures and stuff and people didn't really mess with it i would delete them and stuff like that but now i like it and things that i like is all that matters to me i could really care less what anyone else has to say sorry not sorry Honestly, if you get hate, then that just means you're doing something right. So I don't deal with hate. I didn't. I just ignore it. And that's that. Um, how are you balancing being a full-time student with being a YouTuber? Well, honestly, I feel like it's not that hard because I do online school like everyone else. Um, I do take a lot of classes, so it's a little bit hard. But honestly, I just try to wake up earlier in the day. That's the main thing that can help. If you wake up earlier in the morning, because I know a lot of us, especially during school, you just wake up at any time of the day, 11, 12, 1, 2, at least I used to, but I started waking up earlier and it honestly helped a lot and I just managed my time wisely. So if let's say I want to have a free day, but I can't because I have work to do, I'll wake up early and do most of my stuff right when I wake up or right in the morning and then just have the rest of my day free. It's honestly all about time management. That's the most I can say on that. Like anything in life, you just got to manage your time wisely. And I do take seven classes, so I feel like if I can do it, you can do it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the next question, how are you and your girlfriend? We're good, doing well. Yeah, my girlfriend is in Ohio. She lives in Ohio, I met her at school. And yeah, that's that. <laughs> do you like Ohio better than Maryland? No, I can't say that I do because Maryland, I feel like Maryland is just close to a lot of things, or there's just a lot more to do in Maryland. Like you think that there's nothing to do in Maryland until you move to Ohio where there's really nothing to do, so. Honestly, no, I don't. Oh, well, I didn't do my eyebrows today. So, sorry if that kind of throws you off, but I don't really care. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I I have to say that I do like Maryland better than Ohio, sorry. What are your life goals? Well, career-wise, um, I go to school for fashion merchandising, but I honestly, I have a minor in sustainability, so I want to work in fashion brands, big brands, and yes, sorry, I just got a really good message. Um, I want to work with big brands and help them to be more sustainable and help them introduce more sustainability into their brands so fashion can stop being so 
detrimental to the environment as it is because originally I actually wanted to be an environmental scientist but I just followed my calling which was fashion merchandising so hopefully that's what I'll do in my life and other than that hopefully the older I get I'll come up with more things but I just want to help in ways I can I mean anything in the world anywhere in the world I just want to help wherever I can how do you plan on expanding your brand <sighs> okay so if you don't know I have a brand it's called less maniac I make customized tote bags pants I'm gonna start introducing more things um handbags and yeah so I plan to expand my brand actually starting next week I'm gonna start keeping up with the Instagram of it and posting every single day and stuff like that I plan to add more things like I'm gonna start making masks and pre-made tote bags and other types of bags and stuff like that so I'm gonna be introducing more things as the seasons come as I get better with my brand and when I make a sale so that's all I have to say on that I've started to tag my brand in my description I wasn't doing that before I spent money to get all the supplies and I have all the supplies sitting over here but I don't do it and that's my fault like don't do that I need to start getting on it and I'm actually working on it today so hopefully we want to see where it goes <laughs> the next question is favorite stores to shop um I used to shop on Shein but I stopped because it's so terrible for the environment like any other fast fashion brand um I wish I had money to shop more sustainably now and I do because I mostly thrift I guess you could say but other than that I shop at Hot Topic I love that store that's where I get most of my graphic tees from because they be having the good ones like <laughs> the Annabelle one and the Nun one and the Harley Quinn one that I think I wore yesterday in that video but yeah I shop at Hot Topic I love Hot Topic I love H&M I know there's a lot of controversy with H&M for everything they did but I'm sorry like what can I say I think they make good clothes and they started being more sustainable so H&M um I recommend you thrift mostly other than that like stores in the mall I don't really shop like I don't really shop at Forever 21 or Victoria's Secret Charlotte Russe I don't really shop at stores like that unless I get like jewelry or something or like this headband for example I actually got this headband from H&M but I'm just saying those kind of stores sell stuff like that um and if anything i would shop online like other people's brands fashion hacks i actually just did a styling video it's my last vlogging video so if you want some of those you can go watch that but other than that the main thing i can do is don't try to copy exactly everything you see find styles that you like and find pieces that are similar to it like i want to say start with the basics so like if you find a certain style and you see that within that style you see a lot of people wearing graphic tees and i would say find you some graphic tees to start with if that makes sense just build on a certain style that you want to have um don't try to get too many pieces that won't go together when you shop shop mindfully so that you can put pieces together that make sense like shop as if you're shopping for an outfit rather than an individual piece and that's what i have on a fashion app um the next question is how are you able to keep up your grades and do youtube and slash have a business I study I don't know um, my grades are doing pretty good so I mean I don't really put that out there but I my, my grades are pretty good except for statistics but I'm still passing so it is what it is um but basically I just set apart time I study most of the time I study at night like I don't know why but my productivity kind of only kicks in my brain at night time so most of the time I study at night but I study in the morning during class and at night I just take time outside of class and really look over material and make flashcards and stuff like that. Um, and I time management with making videos. I actually have learned to make my videos pretty quick. Like I film my videos, it don't ever take longer than 30 minutes to make my video. And it takes me, sometimes it takes me longer than other times, but usually it only takes me like an hour, maybe two hours to edit because I do mostly everything on my phone because that's what's easiest for me personally, having as small as a channel I do. I don't want to do too much yet because I ain't got it until you start paying me then I don't know <laughs> how much I'll be paying YouTube so I keep up with that mostly on my phone and that helps a lot with time because it won't take as long because it's so easy on my phone um as long as my business is the same thing with time management I just plan everything out I use a planner by the way um I have it split into two sides I split one side for my schoolwork and the other side for everything else I need to get done through the day whether it's my brand or YouTube or anything like that I just put it all in a planner and that works for me and i check it off through the day as i go <laughs> next question is how do you like ken and do you miss pg at times so if you know me i'm from pg county which is in maryland um it's a pretty big county um, i don't know 
but I do like Kent. The school a lot itself, I love Kent. I'm glad to go there and I'm glad that I'll be going back. And I'll be seeing a lot of success coming out of Kent, so I'm wishing that on myself. Um, but yes, I do miss PG often, especially friends-wise. I used to say that I don't have any friends. Now I'm realizing I don't have any friends out here. I have friends in Maryland and I need to be more grateful for that. So I do miss PG because I miss being around people. And like I said earlier, I miss like, I miss being close to DC. I miss being able to have unique stuff that's just to Maryland, but I still like Kent, so I'm okay with it. Where are you planning to live once you're out of college? So like every basic fashion student, I do want to live in New York City. I've always wanted to live in New York City since I was in like elementary, middle school, but I don't want to live there forever. I only want to live there early 20s-ish so I can, you know, get my career jumping and stuff. But I actually want to move a little bit farther from the city after when I get older to 30, when I get closer to 30 and stuff like that, I don't really want to live in New York City as much. I'll travel there often, but I don't really want to live there because I feel like, I don't know, I just want to live in somewhere that's a little more calm. I love the city because it's so fast, but living in Ohio now, I can see it's more peaceful living in the calm. So yeah, I don't know exactly where I want to live after New York City, but honestly somewhere small and not that dramatic unless I work somewhere that's like fancy and I get a job somewhere like LA then that's different but other than that then I just I don't know how is life after high school it's good for me I liked high school I mean I was a cheerleader I was really involved I did a lot of things high school was cool but honestly would I do it again no High school is really dramatic and kind of unnecessary in my opinion. Like we be doing a whole bunch of stuff in high school that doesn't even matter. Um, so I do kind of like time. I like having my own time. Like I like going to college because you basically have your own time. You can do what you want to do. I mean, you're grown. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's better for me personally. I just like being able to do what I want to do. So I have to say life after high school is better than when I was in high school. The only difference is now I keep putting on weight, but at least I'm fit. But the last question is, what inspires the styles that you wear? I get inspired specifically from different aesthetics for the most part. And I have inspirational people. Like one of my biggest fashion inspirations is like Colleen Diaz. I don't know if you guys know who that is. But her and I watch her on YouTube. Um, let me think of somebody else. Rico Nasty, love Rico Nasty, she's my favorite artist. I also like how she dresses. Um, I love streetwear, that's my main aesthetic type of thing that I'm trying to get into. Um, but that's not the only aesthetic I like, cause I like my skirts and stuff too sometimes, like cute like that. But it's more so like a soft punk type of, I looked it up before, so it's more so like a soft punk type of style. And that's what inspires me, if that makes sense. Like I like platform shoes and colors and black i like black a lot i don't know <laughs> i'm still trying to figure out myself fully myself so yeah i guess everything that inspires me is people who are really good at their fashion sense <laughs> but yeah that is all i have for today's questions i hope i answered some good ones for you guys and i hope you liked today's video if you did make sure to subscribe like comment this video and join my channel and i'll see you tomorrow for golden day six thank you for watching